Welcome. Today we will talk about multiple integrals. Multiple multiple integrals. Multiple integrals. And we will continue what you st what we started before about the multiple integral topic. First of all, we can make like a small recall about what we discussed before. Recall for the case of double integral. The case of double integral. If you remember, we had studied that integration or double integral for f of x and y dA over a certain region D which is the projection on the xy plane and dA can be expanded as dx dy over dy dx but now today we will talk about an advanced topic which is triple integral which includes three integral signs triple integrals which includes three integral signs like this this can be defined as triple integral over certain region r for f of x y and z but instead of instead of da we will make it dv we will make it d v this is the first definition or first notation for this integration and if you remember the double integral has the meaning of volume if you find the volume you can use this formula but the triple integral has no physical meaning has no physical meaning and if you remember in our explanation before the dA element can be expanded as dx and dy and now what about the dV element what about dv how can we expand dv dv here it's an element of volume and dv has six possible options one of you can expand it as dx dy dz or another expansion expansion dy dx dz or another one which is dz dx dy or any other expansions and we have also three other options so our target is how to select which one of these options in order to evaluate or expand this dv element first of all i have to recall again fubini's theorem for triple integral which states that if the triple integral triple integral for f of x y and z dv and having the limits r to s c to d a to b and like before but we can change this dv to be for example for example to be dz dy dx and as you see that the limits a b c 
D, R, and S are constant, we can interchange or switch the order of integration to be integration of or triple integral of x, f of x, y, and z for, for example, another choice, dy, dz, dx. And from first, dz has the limits from r to s, so r and s will be in the middle of the limits here, r and s, and also y changes from c to d and here y is the first one so it will be from c to d and finally x with the same order from a to b considering that that a b c d r and s are all constants so the main target if is to consider that the Fabian theorem is hold also for triple integrals. And what will be the case if the limits of the integrals are functions, not constants? What will be the case? The case will be if, like in double integral, if the limits of integration are functions. What will be the case? We have three different cases for expanding the dv element. dv element can be expanded using first kind, which is type i. And if you remember, in the double integral, we have two types of reasons. Type i, so in this type, the triple integral of e for f of x, y, and z, dv can be equal to double integral over region d, which is the projection for integration of f of x, y, and z, d, z. And then it will be dA, so it have only two options, dx, dy, or dy, dx. And the limits for this function will be u2 in terms only of x and y from u1 of also x and y. And as you see that In this figure, in this corresponding figure, here we have the surface of the solid body, which is region E from Z equal U1 of X and Y to Z2, which is U2 of X and Y, and the projection, which is region D, which we wrote here, this D, and the projection here is on the x, y plane. So we have to write it in the integration. This is on projection, projection on x, y plane. This is the first types of region. What about the second type of regions? Second type of regions, if we have triple integral, this is type 2 of regions. If you have triple integral for f of x and y and z dv for some region E, we can expand it. If we project on y z the plane, then dv can be expanded as dx dA, so it will be f of x and y and z dx dA, 
and then the limits will be only function of y and z so it will be from u1 of y and z till u2 of y and z and then the projection is on the yz plane and this can be described in this graph this one type 2 region can decrease the size of this figure this type 1 and this is for type 2 region as you see that this is the solid which is E and its projection on the YZ plane is the region D and this figure or cylinder or whatever surface changes from X U1 of Y and Z X2 is which is U2 of also function of Y and Z and what is what is the third case for the types of regions? Type 3 Type number 3 regions Also if you have integration Triple integral over certain surface E For f of x, y and z dv can be expanded in terms of its projection the integral and this time the projection will be on the xz plane so f of x y and z and we can expand dv as dy da and this integration changes from u1 which is only function of x and z and to u2 which is function of x and z and then in this type the projection is on the xz plane and this can be described in the third figure which is here This is type 3 region. We can clarify this by another color. This is type type 1 and this figure is for type 2 and this figure is for type number 3 and as you see here that the surface E its projection lies on the xz plane, xz plane, and changes from y, which is equal to u1 of x and z, to y, which is u2, which is function of x and z also. Like what we did before, we can mention the applications of the triple integral applications. of the triple integral the first important application if the function which is f of x y and z equals 1 then the triple integral over the surface for 1 dv gives you the volume and now you have two ways to find the volume one of them double integral and the other method which is triple integral second application like before also how to find the total mass using the triple integral the total mass the total mass can be given in this form which is triple integral over certain surface E for rho of x of y and z 
DV and we can consider this row to be the density per unit volume density per unit volume and the third application for the triple integral also like what we took in double integral which is how to evaluate the total charge of a certain surface so the total charge equals to triple integral for over the surface E for sigma of x, y, and z dv considering that this sigma to be the charge density per unit volume and these three applications are not only these applications for the triple integral we have many applications you can check online or any website or the book of steward calculus to check what are the other applications for using the triple integral as an application for choosing the type of region we will as we as we discussed this type type 1 type 2 type 3 according to the projection of the surface we will start with problem number 5 which has the same idea to select the type of region and describe the solid surface problem number 5 in each of the following cases write the integral triple integral over e for the function f of x y and z dv in three different ways alternating the view of the given region e as being of type 1 2 and 3 respectively let's start together with this problem as we discussed we have to get type 1 or type 2 or type 3 region we will start with type 1 so type 1 if you remember type 1 should be the projection on x y plane so the triple integral the triple integral for e for the function dv will be double integral over certain region d and integration of this function f of x y and z d z and then da so we have to get the region or the limits for the variable z from the figure if we go through this figure we will find for the z values it starts from this point which is zero till the last point but it is not a point we need it's a curve so the curve of this is this plane which is z equal one minus y and then z starts from zero to one minus y and then let's imagine the projection of this on the x y plane if you are here and look to get the projection of this surface over the x y plane you will find this will be like this it will be this green area it will be this green area which describe the projection of 
to solve it on the xy plane let's do it so from x and y you will find this is the poster x so we have the curve to be like this and then like this this point is one and also this point is one and the equation of this curve is y equals root x so we have to describe the region d this is region d so this region d can be any point in the form x and y such that and as you remember we can select da we can select da to be expanded one of the following one of the following dx dy or dy dx it depends on the strip and if we choose it to be horizontal strip like this so we have to be or to use dx dy so we'll use this and then the region d can be described that the value of the y from 0 to 1 0 less than or equal y less than or equals 1 and the parameter for z for x sorry should be variable so the right side which is y squared and the left side which is zero and this curve as you know it is can be written as x equal y squared and now for type 2 and if you remember type 2 means that we have to get the projection on the y z plane so the triple integral over e for f dv will be double integral of d and integration of f of x y and z d x then d a and we have to get the limits for d x and if you take a look along the x-axis you will find it starts also from this point which is zero and this is the highest point for x and so this is the curve for x which is the equation of this plane so x changes from zero to y squared and if we imagine that we look along x-axis here we will find that we can see this triangle this black triangle is the projection of the surface over or on the y z plane so we can sketch it like we did before in the yz plane y z plane and then it will be triangle like this this is one this is also one and the equation of this curve is or this line will be z equal one minus y and then this is region d which we can describe and also da can be expressed as dzy or dy dz let's choose to be dz dy for example dz dy so it should be vertical step and then the region d can be described as any point of the form y and z such that we select dz dy so the limits of y should be constant so y changes from 0 to 1 
and Z changes from 0 to 1 minus Y and that's it the last type of regions which is type number 3 and also if you remember this type of region should be on the projection on the XZ plane so the integration or triple integral of f dv over region e will be double integral over certain region d and integration of this function f of x y and z dy and then dA and if you take a look along the y axis along the y axis we need to get the limit for the y value so it starts from this point which is not zero it is this curve and end at this point which is not one it is another curve so y changes from the first one which is root x tell this curve it is z equal one minus y so y equals one minus z and then and then to one minus z so what about the region d if we take a look about or from the y axis we will get the intersection between these two planes the intersection between two planes which is be curve like this it will be the intersection on the xz plane which is this curve and now what is the equation of this curve its equation comes from by equating 1 minus z to root x then it is z equals 1 minus root x which is this curve or it can be written also like x equals 1 minus z all squared and then we can select any choice for dA so we can choose for example dA to be dx dz dx dz so the region or the strip will be horizontal strip and the region D can be described as D equals any point of the form x and z such that z between 0 and 1 and x between 0 and 1 minus z squared to make it clear and easy let's take another example in problem number 5 part b also this figure or this surface we have to get its projection according to type 1 and 2 and 3 let's start together with type 1 like before so type 1 it's a projection on the xy plane so the integration of f dv will be double integral over certain region d and integration of f of x y and z dz da and now we have to get the values or the limits for the z parameter if we take a look from the z axis start from looking to the surface from the z axis 
we will get its smallest value which is here which is zero and the highest value which is this value it is not one we need its equation of we need its equation of this sheet or this part which is z equal one minus x squared so z changes from zero to zero to one minus x squared and now what about da let's just let's choose da to be dx dy for example and now in order to get its projection we have to take a look from the z axis to get its projection on the xy plane for sure you can see the projection to be this green triangle in the xy plane its projection so we can sketch it on the xy plane to be this line which ends on one here and here and its equation y equals 1 minus x so this is region d and we select the step to be dx dy so it should be horizontal step like this and then region d can be described as any point of the form x and y we have to get y constant so y changes from 0 to 1 and x to be variable as a function of y so it x changes from 0 till this curve which is x equals 1 minus y so less than 1 minus y then we move on type 2 If you take a look along the so type 2 for first it is the projection on yz plane to be clear and if you take a look from the x-axis to this surface you will find that this curve which is the intersection between two planes and you will find this line and this line this is the projection and so then we have two regions to discuss for the x value and then the triple integral over e for f dv should be two parts the first part over region one which is here this is r1 for f of x y and z dx da plus double integral over region two which is this part this part is region two for f of x y and z dx also da now we have to find the limits for the x in each case first of all for r1 it's clear that it starts from zero which is the smallest value till the highest value which is here so the equation of this plane this plane which is this one so it is x equals root 1 minus z so till 1 minus z and the other part in region 
we can raise this one to be in the reverse order it is r1 and this is r2 r2 the smallest value which is also zero and the highest value which is this on this plane this plane which is this equation so x equals 1 minus y so 1 minus y and now what about sketching the region or the projection on the x on the yz plane so it will be like this as we explained before in the yz plane we will find this curve which is the which is the intersection between the two sheets this is the intersection line this is the intersection line and bounded by this curve so this is r2 and this is r1 and now what about this curve of equation to get the intersection we can equate this to each other this is x equal and this is x equal so to get its intersection so it will be 1 minus y equals root 1 minus z so it is z equals 1 minus 1 minus y squared or z equals or y equal 1 minus 1 minus root z and now how can we describe these regions so r1 will be any point of the form y and z such that 0 less than this is y and z we can start with r2 first To be clear for this point, we can make it this R2 so R1 as we and this is R2 so we can start with R2 first R2 X and Y this is region to be any point in the form x is y and z such that y changes from 0 till 1 minus root 1 minus z and the z value this is 1 and this is 1 changes from 0 to 1 and the other, other region which is r1 any point of the four y and z such that we can also consider here z to be constant from 0 to 1 the y is the variable of our target which is changes from this curve at left which is 1 minus root 1 minus z not clear for you you can write it again 1 minus root 1 minus z and till the last point which is here which is 1 and that's it again this is somehow hard kind of problem in order to evaluate or, which, or select type to region we have to, look, to take a look from this point 
to this surface and we will find it's divided into two parts which is R1 and R2 like this 2D figure here and concerning region 1 it should be from 0 to root 1 minus z and here R2 should be from 0 to 1 minus y and then we can find this region individually third one or third kind of type so type type 3 type 3 region it's a projection on its projection on the XZ plane so if you take a look for this figure from the Y axis you will find that this curve to be shown this part this part this blue part to be shown and then the triple integral over E for F dV to be double integral over certain region D for example for F of X and Y and Z dy and then dA and what about the limits of Y so Y as you see from this graph changes from 0 to 1 minus x and if we can do its projection it will be like this curve 1 and 1 and with its equation is z equals 1 minus x squared or x equal root 1 minus z and let's take for example dA to be dz dx so the region D can be described as any point of the form x and z such that so x should be constant it is from 0 to 1 clear here and z should be variable in terms of x from 0 till 1 minus x squared since we choose the step to be vertical strip like this now problem number six evaluate the triple integral triple integral over certain surface e x y plus z squared dv where e can be described as any other triple pair x y x triple point x y and z where x from 0 to 2 and y from 0 to 1 and z from 0 to 3 here this problem it is a direct one since all the limits all the limits of the variables are constants so this e can be considered as a rectangular box rectangular box have the constant length and width and height 
rectangular box and then so we can use any order of integration so dv can be expanded using any one of the six orders which is Fibonacci theorem then Fibonacci theorem holds and for one of the examples we will use the expansion of dv as so it will be x y plus z squared we'll expand it dz dy dx or any other option for the dv can be used here since the Fibonacci theorem is hold Fibonacci theorem so the limit of z which is the first one from 0 to 3 so it will be from 0 to 3 and the limit for y which is the second one from 0 to 1 from 0 to 1 with the same color and the limit for the third variable which is x from 0 to 2 with the same color from 0 to 2 like exactly what we did in the double integral we will evaluate for the first then for the second which is y and then for the third which is x so it will be double integral from 0 to 2 and from 0 to 1 and we will integrate first with respect to x with respect to sorry z so it will be x y z plus z cubed over 3 and we will replace each, each z with 0 first and then 3 and the remaining parameters which is dy dx then after substitution it will be double integral from 0 to 2 from 0 to 1 for x 3 x y plus 9 dy dx and we will now go to integrate with respect to y so then it will be equal from 0 to 2 integra integration of 3xy it will be 3x times y squared over 2 plus integration 9 which is 9y and we will replace each y by 0 and each y by 1 and the remaining is dx so it will be integration from 0 to 2 for after substitution 3 over 2x plus 9 dx and it is too simple integral which leads to 3 over 2 which is constant times x squared over 2 plus 9x and we can substitute from 0 to 2 and it will give you directly the answer of 21. زي ما قلنا يا جماعه قبل كده اول لما توصل لسنجل انتجرال ايفالويتي باي هاند بات دو نوت سبستيتيوت ويز 2 اند 0 ويز يور هاند يعني ايه اوعى تشتغل بايدك انت تعمل انتجريشن بايديك اه انما ايفالويشن الفاليوز دي اعمل ايه؟ هحط الانتجرال ده كده على الكاسه على طول هيطلع في الاخر 21 حطها خد درجه الفاينل انسر على طول. Now, problem 6 part B, evaluate the triple integral for y dv where is the surface E, which is set of points in the form x, y, and z, such that x changes from 0 to 3, and y changes from 0 to x, and z changes from x minus y to x plus y. If you Took a look about this region, you will find that the z value, z value, have
its limits in terms of x and y. And if you remember type 1 region, which is shown here, this is the type 1 region, which is integration for f of x, y, and z, dz, and the limits of z, which are functions of x and y, here also x and y, then this E, the region E or the surface E is type I region and then DV, this element can be expanded as DZ DA and concerning the DA options, two options dx dy or dy dx and if you took a look about the limits of x and y you will find that the limits of y which is variables and limit of x which are constant and as you remember in the double integral the last the last integral sign the last integral sign should be or should have constant limits should have constant limits in order to get a value in total for integration and this confirms our choice for the type of the region so we will use dx dy dx not dx dy and then the triple integral for e y dv it will be double integral over the region d and integral for y dz da and the limits of z in this problem will be from x minus y till x plus y and we will integrate directly so it will be double integral over certain region d we will mention it in the next steps integration of y which is y z and we will replace h z with x minus y and h z with x plus y da and then it will be double integral over certain region d for y times x plus y minus x minus y da and by cancellation we will cancel this x and this x so it will be double integral over region d for 2y squared da and as we explained before we will use this expansion for dA and then it will be double integral for 2y squared dy dx and x changes from 0 to 3 and y changes from 0 to x and we will make direct integration for the internal sign so from 0 to 3 integration 2y squared with respect to y it will be 2y cubed over 3 and we will replace y by x and 0 dx so it will be integration from 0 to 3 for 2 over 3 x cubed dx just two simple integrals it will be 2 over 3 x power 4 over 4 and the will substitute from 0 to 3 it will be 27 over 2 and this is the final answer of this problem now problem 6 part d evaluate the triple integral over surface t x y z dv where t is the tetrahedron with vertices 0 0 0 and 1 0 0 and 1 1 and 0 and 1 0 and 1 First of all, we have to sketch this surface in the x, y, z plane. 
in the x y z plane x and y and z plane first point zero 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 which is the origin one zero zero it will be on the x axis this point is one and zero and zero and one one and zero it will be in the xy plane and no x value it will be here for example one parallel to this one one and zero and the last point which is one zero and one which lies in the xz plane since there is no y it will be like this here and we can connect these points together to get the shape which called tetrahedron and this point and this point and this point this is what is called tetrahedron first of all we have to select the type of region in order to expand this dv if you take a look about this this figure which is tetrahedron هتلاقي ايه هتلاقي يا جماعه دلوقتي عندك ان انت البيس بتاعت الفيجر ده في الاكس واي بلين اهي which is triangle اهو بالمنظر ده رايت انجل تريانجل كابد كده من فوق باي بلين يبقى دلوقتي عندنا ايه عندنا في البيزمنت هنا ده التريانجل بتاعك البيز بتاعك ديت وعندنا فوق بلين بيباث ثرو البوينتس ديت تشينج ذا كلر اهو يا جماعه البلين اللي هو السوليد ده كده هو ده البلين اللي بيباث ثرو البوينتس 1 و 0 1 and 0 0 0 and 1 1 and 0 والبيزمنت بتاعه هو البلين الريد ده يا جماعه البلين الريد ده هو البيزمنت بتاعه فبالتالي it's too simple to consider that T is type I region which is capped by زي ما احنا قلنا من شويه capped by the plane which is z equal zero which is x y plane and the plane that passes through the points that we have mentioned earlier, which is the mean, which is one zero and one and one one and zero and zero and zero and zero. And if you remember from math two or three, if you have three non-collinear points, you can get the equation of this plane. How come? You can find any two vectors from them and make cross product for them to get the normal vector. And now you have normal vector and the, any one of these points to get the equation of this plane. And this equation will be like negative x plus y plus z equal zero we can discuss how to describe this in another time or in the office hours or in the interactive live sessions if you cannot find this equation of plane but it is not our aim target now and if you take a look about the projection of the this figure this green triangle or green plane it will be the triangle red in the xy plane which can be drawn in the xy plane here with this point this point and this point and the origin point which is one and zero which is here and one and one which is here and zero and zero which is here and you can connect them together to get the right angle triangle what we talked about it this point is one and this clarify our choice that 
if we choose dv to be tau equation so it will be dz dy dx and if you remember from the double integral dy dx means that you have to select it like vertical strip and the equation of this line is y equals to x then the region d this region d can be described as any point in the form x and y such that x from 0 to 1 and y from 0 to the straight line which is x and also finally we can describe the surface t as any point in the form x y and z such that x from 0 to 1 and y from 0 to x and z from the x y plane which is 0 till the upper plane which is this plane which is z equals y or x minus y which is this green plane this plane is z equals x minus y so z varies from 0 to x minus y then clearly the triple integral for x y z dv over this tetrahedron will be triple integral for x y z dz dy dx and x changes from 0 to 1 and y from 0 to x and z from 0 to x minus y first of all we integrate with respect to z so it will be integration from 0 to 1 another integral from 0 to x x y z squared over 2 and we will replace z with 0 and z with x minus y dy dx and we will get after substitution that integration from 0 to 1 integration from 0 to x for x y over 2 times x minus y all squared dy dx and you have to make expansion for this x minus y all squared for this bracket and distribute x y over 2 which leads us to this integral which is equals to half common factor constant outside the integral integration from 0 to 1 integration from 0 to x for x cubed y x cubed y minus 2x squared y squared minus 2x squared y squared plus x y cubed all of, of this dy dx so we secondly integrate with respect to y so it will be integration of constant outside from 0 to 1 x cubed y squared over 2 minus 2x squared y cubed over 3 plus x y power 4 over 4 from y equals 0 till y equals x dx after substitution it will be half outside integration from 0 to 1 x power 5 over 2 minus 2 over 3 x power 5 plus 1 over 4 x power 5 dx after simplification it will be half or directly 1 over 24 integration from 0 to 1 to x bar 5 dx it's a simple integral it will be 1 over 24 x bar 6 over 6 from 0 to 1 it will be 1 over 444 144 which is the final answer to this problem now we move to applications of multiple integrals in problem number seven find the mass of the lamina that 
occupies the triangular region D with vertices 0 and 0, 2 and 1, 0 and 3, and that has the given density function rho of x and y, which is equal x plus y. First of all, from the previous tutorial of double integral, we learn it together that the total mass equals to double integral for region D of the density function which is rho of x and y dA and now we have to sketch the region D which are triangular with vertex which is given in, this, in the problem this is the xy plane first point which is 0 and 0 this point the second one which is 2 and 1 here this is 2 and 1 the last point which is 0 and 3 which is for example here and we have to connect these points together in order to get the region D and then this is region D and we have to select the type of region type 1 or type 2 only it is a double integral, not triple integral problem. It is too simple to use it vertical strip or type I region. So it will be vertical strip like this red one. So we have to find the equation of this line and also the equation of this line, which are straight lines. So we can get the slope, for example, for this line, line 1. For line 1, we will get its slope, which is m equals delta y over delta x, which is equals to difference of y points, which is 1 minus 3 over difference of the x, which is 2 minus 0, will be negative 2 over 2, which is negative 1, which is negative one this is slope equals to m equals to negative one and here the intersection with the y-axis which is three so the equation of this line y equal negative x plus three similarly for L2 for L2 we can get its slope m equals delta y over delta x which equals half and then since this straight line passes through the ocean so there is no intersect with the y axis so its equation y equals half x directly then the equations are y equals negative x plus 3 and this one y equals half x and then return to our problem it will be double integral for rho which is x plus y times vertical which is dy dx limits of the y will be from, from lower which is half y equals half x and upper y equals the negative x plus 3 and now we have to get the point of or the limits of the x variable which is starts from 0 so it will from 0 till this point which is 2 so from 0 to 2 so we have to make this integration to simple integral with respect to y first it will be xy plus y squared over 2 from y equals x over 2 to y equals the negative x plus 3 dx and then it will be from 0 to 2 for x times negative x plus 3 plus negative x plus 3 all squared over 2 minus 
replace h y by x over two, it will be x squared over two minus x squared over eight. All of this dx, this two simple integral. After simplification, it will be integration from zero to two for nine over two minus nine over eight x squared dx to simple integral again will be 9 over 2x minus 9 over 24x cubed from 0 to 2 and it will be finally 6 Another application problem, which is problem number eight. Electric charge is distributed over the disk x squared plus y squared less than or equal to four, so that the charge density at x and y is sigma of x and y equals x squared plus y squared measured in columns per square meter. Find the total charge on the disk. First of all, if you remember from the previous tutorial, we talk that the total charge can be evaluated from total charge double integral. And why double integral? Since the function given in the problem is 2D function, not 3D function. So it is, I mean 2D that uh, includes only X and Y, not include Z. It will be sigma of X and Y dA over certain region D. And the region is described as the entire area or interior of the disk which is x squared plus y squared less than or equal to 4 and we can sketch this disk in the xy plane it will be like this this is the region D and if you remember we can get the equation of the upper bulb which is y equals positive root 4 minus x squared and the lower part which is negative root y equal negative root 4 minus x squared 4 minus x squared and then we can select the strip to be vertical strip or type I region type I region can clarify this to be type I region like this and modify this to be like this and then the total charge equal total charge equals double integral for the function which is x squared plus y squared dy dx and this is a circle of radius 2 so the x changes from negative 2 to 2 this point is negative 2 and this one is 2 so x changes from negative 2 to 2 and y changes from both roots, negative root 4 minus x squared till root 4 minus x squared and then we will make the integration it will be integral from negative 2 to 2 for x squared which will be x squared y plus y cubed over 3 from 
equal negative root 4 minus x squared till y equal positive root 4 minus x squared dx and if we make this substitution it will be integration from negative 2 to 2 for x squared the positive root 4 minus x squared plus 4 minus x squared all power 3 over 2 over 3 minus the lower limit which is negative root it will be positive here x squared root 4 minus x squared plus 4 minus x squared power also 3 over 2 over 3 dx and then how we can solve this integral if you remember from math 2 or, two or 3 if you have square root of number minus x squared you will make trigonometric substitution and simply it will be integration from negative 2 to 2 for 2x squared root x squared minus 4 plus 2 over 3 4 minus x squared all power 3 over 2 and now we will move to the trigonometric substitution which is we will write here oh, using trig substitution like this we will use that x equals 2 sine theta and then dx equals 2 cosine theta d theta and at this point root 4 minus x squared will equal 2 cosine theta and concerning the limits at x equals negative 2 theta equals the negative y over 2 and at x equals 2 for sure theta equals opposite sign which is y over 2 again then this, in this integral can be written as integral can be written as integration from negative y over 2 to y over 2 for 2x squared which is 2 sine theta all squared times the square root which is 2 cosine theta plus 2 over 3 which is the root cube so it will be times 8 cosine cubed theta all of this multiplied by the dx which is 2 cosine theta d theta to be clear cosine theta d theta and then after simplification it will be integration from negative y over 2 to y over 2 for 32 sine squared theta sine squared theta times cosine squared theta if we distribute this cosine in this bracket and then plus 32 over 3 cosine power 4 theta d theta and then if you remember the identities of the trigonometric function this first term will be like 32 sine squared 2 theta over 4 and uh, this, this term can be expanded also again it will be half 
times 1 plus cosine 2 theta all of this squared d theta and then it will be integral from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2 for we can simplify somehow these numbers 8 it will be 8 and sine squared also double angle rule we can change it so using double angle rule so it will be 8 times half times 1 minus cosine double angle which is 4 theta here plus 32 over 6 not 6 it is 8 it is 12 sorry we have half a square, this 2 square times 3 will be 12. And we can expand this bracket, we can expand this bracket to be 1 plus 2 cosine 2 theta, 2 cosine 2 theta plus cosine squared 4 theta d theta and this term again will be expanded using double angle rule so it will be equal integral from negative y over 2 to y over 2 8 times half will be 4 1 minus cosine 4 theta plus 32 over 12 will be 8 over 3 1 plus 2 cosine 2 theta plus half 1 plus cosine double angle which is 8 theta all of this d theta and you can integrate it easily to be 4 times theta minus sine 4 theta over 4 plus 8 over 3 integration 1 will be theta not x plus 2 sine 2 theta over 2 plus half times theta plus sine 8 theta over 8 all of this will be substituted in terms of by negative y over 2 till y over 2 using your calculator it will be finally 8 by I know it is a long problem but let's make a fast review about this problem first of all we use the total charge rule and then we sketch the region D and we know the equation of each graph and we select type 1 region so it will be dA will be dy dx and then we put the limits for each variable and then integral integration for the y variable will lead us to this square roots and then we have to make trigonometric substitution for math 2 or 3 and changing the limits of integral and the using somehow old identities you know from math 1 or 3 in order to solve this integral to get this value which is 8 by another application problem problem number 9 find the volume of the region bounded above by the paraboloid z equal x squared plus y squared and below by the triangle enclosed by the lines y equal x x equal 0 and x plus y equal 2 in the xy plane as you know that we can find the volume so again we can find the volume using two different methods even using double integral or 
triple integral and since we took before two problems of double integral let's solve it using triple integral so the volume equals triple integral for e dv and the target now or the problem now is how to split dv according to the given equations the given equations and this one also which is z equal to zero you will find that z equal to zero and z equal x squared plus y squared so it is better to use the type one region so it will be double integral for region d integration of dz da and limits for z it's too clear it's from z equal zero to z equals x squared plus y squared after integration it will be double integral for region d for x squared plus y squared da and now another problem is to select the type of expansion for da so we have to sketch the given region we have to sketch the given region by equations and we consider only the equations in the xy plane so x equals 0 which is the y axis and y equals x which is this line this is y equals x and x plus y equals 2 which is this line this is y equals 2 minus x so the bounded region which is this triangle so we can get this intersection point by equating two equations or to get an intersection points we equate both equations to each other so x equals 2 minus x then 2x equals 2 you will get that x equals to 1 so this point is 1 and then what kind of region you may select I think it is better here to use the vertical strip or type I region for double integral it will be easy and so uh, helpful in this problem and then it will be double integral for x squared plus y squared for the vertical strip it will be dy dx type i region limits x clear from the graph from 0 to 1 and limits for y the down graph which is equation y equals x and the up line or the upper line which is y equal 2 minus x so we will make this integration integration from 0 to 1 first of all we will integrate with respect to y which will be x squared y plus y cubed over 3 from y equals x to y equals 2 minus x dx and then we substitute it will be equal the volume equals integration from 0 to 1 for x squared times 2 minus x plus 2 minus x all cubed over 3 plus or minus the lower limit minus the lower limit we replace each y by x it will be x cubed minus x cubed or plus we put bracket x cubed over 3 dx after simplification it will be integral from 0 to 1 for 2x squared minus 7 over 3x cubed plus 2 minus x all cubed over 3 dx which is too easy integral 
it will be 2 over 3 x cube minus 7 over 12 x bar 4 minus 2 x minus x all bar 4 over 12 and substitute from 0 to 1 not using your hand only using your calculator it will be directly 4 over 3 and this is the volume of this figure which is finally have the value of 4 over 3 let's move on problem number 12 use triple integrals in order to find the volume of the given solid this given solid for example number a the region between the cylinder z equal y squared and the x y plane that is bounded by the planes x equal 0, x equal 1, y equal negative 1, and y equals 1. It is very clear to this graph, this graph, this 3D figure. We have this parabolic cylinder or the cylinder. And we can write all use this equation z equal y squared and x equals zero, x equals one and y equals negative one and y equals one and x y plane means z equal to zero and it's very clear that we have Z repeated two times, which is here and here, and then we can use the old rule for the volume. So the volume will be triple integral over surface E for dV, and we can use it as type type I region, type I region. So it will be double integral over region D for integration dz dA where z as we said before it changes from z equal 0 till z equals y squared then it will be double integral over region d for z from 0 to y squared dA it will be simply double integral over region d for y squared dA and now the question is how can we expand this dA? We can sketch on the xy plane the other equations which is in this red cloud in the xy plane here xy plane x equals 0 which is x equals 0 which is the y axis x equals 1 which is here x equals 1 and uh, y equal 1 which is here here is y equal 1 and y equal to negative 1 which is here and the bounded with the y axis so we will have this rectangle here is y equal negative 1 and it's very clear we can make it horizontal or vertical strip I mean type i or type double i in the double integral so we can make it horizontal for example horizontal strip like this red strip so it is type 2 in the double integral and then we will expand dA as dx dy so it will be integration of y squared dx dy and as it is shown from the figure, y changes from negative 1 to 1, and x changes from 0 to 1, and we can make this simple integral from negative 1 to 1, y squared x from 0 to 1 dy, so it will be from negative 1 to 1 for y squared dy, so it will be y cubed over 3, from negative 1 to 1 and finally it will be 2 over 3 
عشان يا جماعه نلخص الفكره هنا ازاي من غير ما تبص حتى على ال 3 دي فيجر ده ازاي ايفالويت او افك الدي في بتاعتي قال لي سهله جدا هتبص على الليتر اللي بتكرر تو تايمز هتقول لي طب ما الزد تو تايمز والواي تو تايمز والاكس تو تايمز اقول لك صح ممتاز عشان كده ممكن اقول لك ايه بقى اهو انذر سولوشن انذر ان ذا ريد كلر وي نيد ذا ريد وان اوكي ان ذا بلو وان ذا ريد انذر وي كان ريبيت ات اجين Another solution. Using double integral for dy dA, for example. But the care of this here, y it changes from negative one to one, so it will be from negative one. One and what about da? We can solve this problem using this technique as z is a function of y. Take care of this. Sorry, z is function of y. Take care of this. So we cannot start with y. We can start with x. So this is a solution. Take care of this. I will not delete it. But in order to take care when you try to solve it manually, but you can use another way if you use dx dA. Now problem twelve number C. Find the volume also. Of the region in the first octant, the word first octant is very important for us. First octant means that all x, y, and z are all positive. The first octant bounded by the coordinate planes. The plane and the plane x plus y equal four, and the cylinder y squared plus four z squared equal sixteen. Now we have only equations that x plus y equals 4 and y squared plus 4 z squared equal 16 and from this first octant and the coordinate planes we can deduct that z equals 0 or we can conclude that z equals 0 is with us so from this equation z equals to only the positive root of half square root 16 minus y square will be the second equation so we'll use type i region type i region for triple integral Then volume equal triple integral over E dV, so it will be double integral over d for dz dA and z starts from zero till half square root sixteen minus y squared, so it will be double integral over region d. For directly half root 16 minus y squared d a, and now the question is, how can we expand this d a? First, we have to sketch the 2D figure, which is the projection on the x y plane using this straight line. So it will be in the x y plane. X and Y plane 
the equation x plus y equal to 4 will be a straight line like this one this point is 4 this point is 4 and we have the first octant so x and y will be greater than x and y and z are greater than or equal to 0 so this axis are with us so this is the region d and this equation of this line y equal 4 minus x so we can use it vertical or horizontal strip as you like we can make it horizontal strip order to change then the integral will be will be double integral for half root 16 minus y squared dx dy طب دلوقتي واحد يقول لي اف ده انا شفتها ان انا بالنسبه لي فيرتيكال اسهل لو انا خدتها دلوقتي كانها فيرتيكال ستريب ايه هتبقى المشكله عندك؟ هيبقى المشكله عندك انك عايز تعمل انتجريشن فور روت 16 ماينس واي سكويرد وذ ريسبكت تو واي بقى مش اكس المره دي فمحتاج تعمل تريجنوماتيك سبستيوشن فالاسهل لي في السؤال ده بالذات ان انا اعمل ايه؟ احط هنا ايه؟ دي اكس ولو عايز تريفيو الكلام ده ممكن تبص على الدور المره اللي فاتت لما خدنا ريفيرس سنجل اوردر هنا انا محتاج اشتغل بايه؟ الاسهل لي دي اكس دي واي ولكن دي واي دي اكس شغاله ولكنها it takes more time. So we can get the limits of integration. So limits for y which is constant from 0 to 4 and limits for x is from 0 to 4 minus y and we'll integrate with respect to x first. So it will be integration from 0 to 4. This is all our constant, which is half root 16 minus y squared times x, and we will replace x equal to 0 till x equal 4 minus y dy. So it will be half constant outside the integral from 0 to 4, 4 minus y root 16 minus y squared dy. If we distribute this square root for these two terms, it will be half integration of from 0 to 4 to 4 root 16 minus y squared dy minus integration from 0 to 4 y root 16 minus y squared dy. How we can solve this integration? This is too simple integral. It is power rule. And what about this? And we had learned in semester one that the area under the curve here integration from zero to, to, to uh, sorry from a to b. Here the area under the curve. So, the guys, this equation is of a. جزء من السيركل of radius four. So this is a question. Hey, guys, I tell you this is a question of area. of 4 quarter of circle of radius 4 يعني ايه الكلام ده بقى يعني ممكن احسبها دلوقتي من غير ما اعمل اي مجهود هتبقى ايكوال ادي هاف كونستانت بقى اهو هتبقى باي وهي دي قلنا 4 4 سكويرد ماينس التاني دي باور رول قلنا هتبقى هاف 16 ماينس واي سكويرد اول باور 3 اوفر 2 اوفر 3 اوفر 2 فروم 0 تو 4 ات ويل بي دايركت ايكوال 8 باي بلس 32 اوفر 3 نخلي بالنا قوي يا جماعه من الحته دي عشان بتسهل عليك قوي في المسائل ان دي معناها ايه؟ قال لي دي معناها الايه؟ الاريا اوف سيركل وانا اصلا عارف الاريا اوف سيركل هي عباره عن ايه؟ عباره عن باي ار سكوير والفور ديت الفور دي معناها ايه؟ ان انا عندي هنا فور كوارترز عندي اربع ارباع من السيركل ديت فالربع الواحد هيبقى عباره عن ايه؟ او اكنها فورمولا فرعه باي ار سكوير 
ومن غير ما اعمل اي سبستيوشن من زيرو لفور ولا اي حاجه. 